All right. This here is one of my donor bikes. Uh, it's going to give up its engine, rear axle, front spindles, um, and just other bits and pieces that I can find useful. This is a 125cc three speed with reverse semi automatic. Uh, got no idea if it runs, if it's any good, if it's blowing up. So, no, I bought a few of them for cheap. I uh, got one running and I ride it around with my daughter. So if I pull that one apart, she'll be very disappointed. Uh, so I'm going to try and get this one going. My hopes is to mount this engine on this swing arm as far back or as close to the sprocket as I can get it. Um, I'll have to relocate the shock and, and whatnot. And then hopefully that package will sort of fit in the boot of one of the mini rods over there. Um, if not, then I'll have to sort of mount this up and on an angle and we'll see. So I'm going to cut some of this frame away because it's in my way, just to make it easier to get to. I'm gonna see if I can get it running and then um, go from there. So after a lot of messing around with the wiring and pumping it full of starter fluid, it would sort of run for a second on starter fluid. So I'm tipping this carby is no good. So it's about 30 bucks for a new one, which isn't bad. Got the swing arm off, got the exhaust, shocks, the spindles with drum brakes, <clears throat> engine mount, uh, the front brake cables. Uh, the tie rods and a few other bits and bobs. And I found this guy in there too. Just for reference, that's my finger. <laughs> well, he's not happy at the moment. Don't blame him, he's in his attack position. So there's a ruler. He's not quite two inches long. It's definitely not the biggest huntsman I've seen. But, come on, let's see. He's got pretty good fangs on him. All right, there's the uh, rear swing arm axle assembly on the table. I was very surprised to see that there's ball bearings in here. Good job, China. <laughs> but not surprised to see this piece. Look at that. And then under there, that whole tube. It's just, you know, not good enough. So I'm going to chop this piece out and this piece out and then remake the swing arm as long as I need it, as wide as I need it to accommodate the engine. I've got an engine bolt here. And then there's another a bolt section that uh, actually goes at the back. That was easy. I forgot this bolt at all. <laughs> um, yeah, the other bits I want. Check it out, it's all finished. Not really. 
I've just got the axle sitting in there, just in one of my bodies. Um, and I've got this stick here to represent the back of the seat. So I've got a rough estimate of how much room I've got to fit this engine in here. Um, and, and looking at it, it's, it's hard to tell on camera, but there isn't that much room in there. All right, I found this box. It's a little bit shorter, but about that much shorter um, than the engine. It's not as wide and tall, but that doesn't matter. I'm worried about the length at the moment. As you can see, it comes way back, which is probably too far. Um, can't really move it while I'm holding the camera, but there's not much room left in there. So I've got that piece of wood that represents the back of the seat. And there's not a whole lot of room and it's, you know, almost up against the, uh, whatever you call that panel. I've got it sitting up on an angle, uh, cause the engine sits up on an angle. I also realize this axle has moved. It's going to go this way a bit more to be roughly in the center. Roughly. So I'm going to mark out some spots in here uh, that'll that'll give me the rough area I have to work with uh, without having this body in the way. So that's what I'm going to do now, and then I'll be able to set the engine in there on some blocks and and have a look at it. All right, so that's about where it's going to be. The carb is not quite level. Um, so I had a, a piece of steel which is now up here, don't worry about that. It was uh, along this row of dots here. So there's enough room to mount that there. So it's going to be sitting up a little bit higher. I might have to um, make a custom intake so sit the carby over here or something. Just to get it down a little bit. The, the, the intake will just go straight in. I don't think that'll work. It'll work fine. It'll be alright. Um, so now I'm going to... I've got this sitting here. I'm going to sit the body back on that drum. Um, and have a look. And hopefully I don't knock anything off the table. Because if I drop that engine, it won't be good. What's in the boot today? It fits! Kind of. Um, this car is definitely going to have to move off to the side. Make a custom intake for that. Which will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, I'm going to have to move the engine forward or bring the body back. Just bring the body back a little bit. That's going to hit the car. Um, yeah, the, the body, the, the, the motor is going to sit slightly forward of that gear like over center because i've got a little bit of room to play with here with the back of the seat that's around about where the back of the seat's going to be so i've got you know good two inches which is plenty What a mess. As you just saw, I got these cleaned up. All that junk there, rusty. These aren't, aren't that bad, but this bit. And this one. All right. Just tore straight off it. I'll get all this cleaned up and start building a swinger.
I had to remove the carby. Um, I'm still going to move the axle forward about an inch, 25 mil ish. And then I'm going to move the motor back. So this sprocket here is going to be behind it, so the chain's going to be, which doesn't matter. Alright, I've got some issues. This is about where the motor needs to sit on the axle. So the sprocket will be just behind it. The chain will have to pass through the case, which it can't because it's got oil in it. So I'm going to have to divert it round. Uh, the chain will also hit here, so I'm going to have to grind that off, which is fine. Um, the engine mounts are right here. There's four of them underneath there, and then here. So I've got to build some mounts from here, coming back. And I could make a bolt on mount the bolts into here where the chain adjusters go because the chain adjusters won't work anymore with the engine directly above it because uh, it sort of pivots in and out and that ain't going to do anything with the chain being up there. So I can make a bolt on mount that goes to here. I could also tie it into that, but it has to be removable so I can still get the axle out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Look at those welds, beautiful. So I got the engine bolted on there, it's sitting on there all by itself. Um, so it's got five bolt bolts in total, not including the ones that I put in. So this one going through here and then four up underneath. Those guys there, uh, the sprocket's pretty well aligned. This moves around a little bit, so it can take up a little bit of um, I think they designed that on the quad bike for a little bit of flex uh, in the, the rear suspension. I also took the brake caliper off just to make it easier to put that on there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the swing arm done. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.